hi friends so this is the second topic of power bi series so today we will learn how to create the bar chart or we can say stacked bar chart okay so basically column chart and bar chart are same okay just a uh, orientation is different okay so see uh, we have this visualization tab here okay so in this visualization we have multiple visualization options as we have seen in the our previous video okay so the first option is the stacked bar chart so what you can do you can click on the stacked bar chart okay so you will get a visual here okay so basically we have to create the visual for the data so we have already loaded the data the data is the supermarket grocery sales data you can see in the right side okay in this field option so this uh, data supermarket grocery sales it has multiple columns the column names are here category city customer name discount order date order id profit region sales state and subcategory okay these are the columns in this data set okay so the data set is already cleaned now while creating this stacked bar chart okay so we have two options x-axis and y-axis first we have to define what we want to give on the y-axis so let's say on y-axis we want to give subcategory okay so you can select the subcategory and you can drag on this y-axis okay after that what do you want to create on x-axis okay so we want to give our sales data okay submission of sales on x-axis for different categories now this is the data so this chart is called as stacked bar chart okay now basically you can see on uh, y-axis we have multiple subcategories on x-axis we have sales data okay now basically we know how to format this visual okay so while formatting this visual we have an option here format your visual you have to click on this option format your visual you will get a multiple option under it okay so first option is y-axis how you want to format y-axis so open this drop down y-axis so first one is the values we want to give bold to these values we want to increase the font size to 11 okay and uh, then for title again we want the title as bold we want to increase the font size okay after that this is sufficient for y-axis okay now we want to format the x-axis again we will open this drop down now we have to select the range let's say here right now the data is from 0 million to somewhat about 1 million okay but we want we don't want the data between 0 to 4 million okay so we will set the minimum value as 4 lakhs okay now see the range of x-axis got changed right well previously the range was from 0 million to 1 million okay now the range is from 0 0.4 million to 1 million let's say we want we don't want more 50,000 so what we can do we can apply minimum value as 4,50,000 okay Okay, so now the range is from 0 0.45 million to 1 million. Okay, so this is fine for range. Okay, after that we have an option for value. Okay, we want values in bold. We can increase the font size to 12. Okay, after that again for title we can increase the font size. Okay, this is fine, sufficient for x axis. Okay, now see. Uh, this chart doesn't have grid lines okay so we can create grid lines in power bi visual okay we have one option here grid line open this drop down now it is asking for vertical grid line okay so how you want the style of the grid line to be so let's say we want dashed grid line okay the color of the grid line should be let's say red color okay so see we got the grid line here width we have increased uh, this is fine for the grid line right now let's say you want the zoom slider on x-axis okay zoom slider means you can dynamically change the range of x-axis okay you can just enable the option okay see here you got a zoom slider okay you can slide so the range of x-axis will automatically get changed and according to that the data will be shown for each and every subcategory okay so this is called as in zoom slider now the next option is bar 
okay now see if you observe carefully each and every bar has some uh, like definite color right same color it have blue one right now let's say we want color based on the values of that particular bar or we can say frequency of that particular bar so for that we will use this option color and we will select this functions icon okay now see uh, this option will ask what is the color which you want to give for the minimum value so let's say for minimum value we want this color now next thing is it will ask what is the color you want to give for the highest value so for highest value let's say we want to give this color right click on ok so based on the color right which we have given in the, for this particular function it will automatically sort the data okay see minimum one is yellow and the last one is pink or you can say different color okay so basically and uh, now this chart looks good right so each and everything is sorted in this chart after that you can change the spacing color we are done you can change the spacing okay so in between two bars you can increase or decrease the space according to your requirement okay at last you can give the data labels okay if you want to show the number in front of that particular bar you can enable this option okay again from data uh, for data label uh, what you can do you can give bold option here you will get bold option under values okay see and you can increase the font size as well and the last option is you can change the background of this visualization but that is not requirement this will be fine okay so this chart is perfect now okay so basically what we have done first we have defined y-axis second we have defined x-axis we have formatted y-axis and formatted x-axis okay we have given the data labels okay we have enabled the zoom slider in this okay and we have given the color code according to the value of that particular bar okay so each and everything will change dynamically now see like this okay so this chart is called as a stacked bar chart thank you for joining in the next session, we will learn how to create a clustered bar chart. Okay, thank you.